Former Slipknot percussionist Chris Fain is opening up for the first time since his abrupt departure from the band back in March of 2019. You'll recall back then he filed a lawsuit against multiple members of the group as well as their business manager, alleging they had set up multiple corporate entities without his knowledge, and also alleging that he may not have been getting compensation he was entitled to. Now, a short time after that, Slipknot announced in a statement his departure from the group. They said they wished he had chosen a different course of action and that he knows why he's no longer a member of the band. The group moved on with a new percussionist. His name is Mike Paff. He's also affectionately known by fans as Tortilla Man. He's been getting good reviews for his performances. Now, Chris Fain, for his part, has laid low since his departure from the band. He hasn't engaged in trash talking the band or anything like that but now he's speaking directly to the fans he appeared to be in good spirits and he's telling fans that really for him the best experience was them the fans he didn't really care about a lot of the other stuff you have to deal with when being in a band and here's what he had to say before we continue if you could take just a quick moment to hit that subscribe button with notifications on for the latest news and updates about your favorite bands we would really appreciate it and also, don't forget to enter to win this four VIP weekend pass giveaway to one of these festivals of the winner's choosing. You could go see the Foo Fighters. You could go see Limp Biscuit and Incarceration. I think you got some really good chances of winning, so enter to win down at the link in the description. So on this new podcast, Chris Fain is talking about his career with Slipknot and Again, for the first time, speaking directly about that. He hasn't talked about this before. It's interesting to hear his perspective. He doesn't really sound like he had a great experience in the band other than dealing with the fans. That's his perspective, though. It's also important to note that when these things happen in bands, when there's internal dynamics, a lot of this stuff happens behind the scenes. We'll probably never know the full story of what went down here. So there are two sides to every story. This is him presenting his perspective. In Slipknot's statement announcing his departure from the band, the group wrote, Slipknot's focus is on making album number six and our upcoming shows around the world our best ever. Chris knows why he is no longer a part of Slipknot. We are disappointed that he chose to point fingers and manufacture claims rather than doing what was necessary to continue to be a part of Slipknot. We would have preferred he not take the path that he has, but evolution in all things is a necessary part of life long live the knot and also in response to the news of that suit that same day Corey taylor tweeted out you're going to read a lot of bullshit today this is all i'll say just you wait till the truth comes out long live the knot and now on the drum for the song podcast which i've linked to in the description chris fain spoke about his experience in slipknot and had this message directly to the fans about his departure he told them i pray for them and i love them and I'm so sorry that it ended so soon, but that's the way things go, and the fans really were the only part that were great for me. That stage performance and seeing them, seeing their reaction was the best part. The rest of it can fuck off, he continued later. It's kind of like any band though, that's the best part of it, is touring. Flights, personalities, this and that, this and that. I really do miss them, I miss playing live, I do. But it's all good, man. Now, ultimately, that lawsuit that was filed never really went anywhere, and the band and Fane went their separate ways. Again, he seemed to be in good spirits during the conversation, what was great to see. He obviously loves the fans and wants them to know that as well. And again, you never really know in these situations what happened behind the scenes, and there's an argument over finances publicly, but what led to that level of tension where they felt the only way to remedy this was by going to court. It's just one of those things. We'll never really know the full story, but you know, I thought he was classy in his explanation of his side of things as well. And it was good to see that he appeared to be in good spirits because he had a lot of great years with Slipknot and you know, he deserves a lot of credit for his contributions to the band. That is your latest update from Rockfeed. If you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to hit that subscribe button with notifications on. I would really appreciate it if you took a moment to do that. And you can also join the conversation over on the Instagram. I'm posting all sorts of stuff about other bands that you don't necessarily see here. So you can join over there as well. Thanks so much for tuning in.